Alright guys, so before I start this video, if you want to book an appointment with me directly and talk about your course or uh, admission process or visa process or documentation, anything, first link in the description is the link which you can use to book the appointment and I'll show up directly. Alright guys, welcome back once again. So I'm sitting here with students from uh, University of Parabon and uh, they are currently studying Masters in Computer Science, yeah? Yeah. Right. And uh, today we are here to discuss uh, the admission procedure here uh, in this university what are the prerequisites and uh, make sure that you stick till last and uh, yeah let's dive in how about you guys start with a quick introduction about yourself I joined Parabon University in summer 2018 mm -hmm. and um, my bachelor's was uh, from Chennai India in information tech and here I'm studying computer science and uh, yeah I basically came to get uh, change from the application part of IT to get a more theoretical focus based mm -hmm. on maths and so on. Yeah. I'm doing my master's in computer science and I joined university in last winter, which is winter 2020. So I'm the COVID batch. So um, I haven't seen university that much and we are probably doing most of actually all of the things online. So yeah, I think that's about it. Okay. What about your bachelor's? Give us a bit of academic oh. background. Okay, so my bachelor's was in information technology from SRM Chennai mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, so I uh, my grade at the end was basically 7.5 and uh, my focus was even then when the course was more application oriented, I chose as much as possible the theoretical part algorithms and so on. So my thesis was in algorithms, algorithm design and uh, yeah, and uh, when I came here, here also I'm continuing in the same algorithm design specialization and of course uh, we will continue on what all specializations are there. I'll so, get to that, yeah. yeah. I did my bachelor's from Nagpur University. My CGPA was 8.5 which is like 1.7 German grade and uh, and I was also the university topper which was pretty important because I submitted the certificate and I think that was pretty useful <laughs> during the admission mm. and all that. So uh, and I was also mostly oriented towards the theoretical part and that's why mostly Paderborn was important for me because this university is really research oriented and our mathematics background and physics and all these it's mostly computer science in the theoretical part of the world which is pretty important for me at that point because I have also worked in IT industry. I was uh, working as a web developer for 1.9 years you can see and then COVID happened so I had to leave my job I mean I got the acceptance and I also deferred I mean I had the job for 1.9 years then I got the acceptance for summer semester and uh, I left my job and I was about to come here but I did not get my visa because of COVID so I deferred my uh, deferred my acceptance you can say so like that like she said about her experience so after my bachelor's i also had a one year experience uh, but it was not related to computer science it was in marketing and sales mm -hmm. uh, in baijus india and uh, so and my grade was 7.5 so how i secured admission was that i had to basically boost my profile and to do that i uh, took gre in which i scored 322 uh, TOEFL I had 101 out of 120 and um, and I also included certain projects in my uh, resume so I left my job early did some projects in data science got it in my resume and maybe a combination of all that allowed me to get in Parabon. 322 is really good. Yeah that's a pretty good score. <laughs> that's a okay. really good score. <laughs> but again is it the official requirement? Uh, no. no, not really. It okay. is not the official requirement. Uh, so, the re as far as requirements go, uh, mainly what they see here is your bachelor's. Uh, not only the grade, but the content of your bachelor's. So, if you need to get an admission in computer science, so your bachelor's uh, course should match as much as possible to the bachelor's of computer science course in Paderborn University. Mm -hmm. That is how they. Uh, compare contrast and based on that you get admission and in case certain major courses are mis uh, missing like in my case I was in IT and I was applying for theoretical computer mm. sciences so certain theoretical courses are missing from my bachelor's in India which I got as pre-master courses here Oh, okay. so I got the admission but they said that you have not covered what all is covered in bachelor's in Paderborn so you will need to do it along with your masters do you guys have someone who is your classmate, batchmate, who comes from BCA? BCA? No, not really. Most of my friends. Yeah. I have one batchmate. Uh, she is uh, 
but she is BCA and MCA, and that's how she got admission. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because there is always a fight with credit points, right? Yeah. Because you come from three-year degree that is not accepted. Some universities do, some don't. Where there's always a grey line. Okay. Mm. There's nothing clear. This university accepts and this doesn't. So that's why I like to ask this question. So your application is via Uniassist. Yes. The application for CS in Paderborn is via Uniassist, and the process is. Uh, the general uni assist process you submit all your documents to uni assist uh, send them one copies of one hard copy uh, set and then they make use of that to allow you to apply to all universities mm -hmm. so similarly for paramount hmm. and maybe you can tell what exactly are the documents yeah so uh, most importantly of course your transcripts your degree your ielts score then the sop letter of recommendations if you are working then your experience letter if that's important i mean yeah you, ha you if you are working there currently then you have to write it there that you are working currently and if you have an experience you have left the job then the experience letter accordingly mm, have i left out something no 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 i think that yeah that's covered okay. that covers everything yeah okay. can we can we quickly talk about uh, the subjects the compulsory module and the uh, electives so the best part about CS courses is that there are no compulsory modules. We have uh -huh. we we in our okay. 120 uh, credits points, master, yeah. <laughs> we basically have the 30 credits degree, uh, 20 credits project. There are eight subjects modules which are six credits each, so that is 48, and two seminars, five five each, which is 10. So okay. and 12 credits which are remaining uh, are the German courses for international students. So those eight subjects which are basically the modules are all elective, non-compulsory and they are just divided into specializations. Uh, for example, each semester they will offer you subjects from the specialization called algorithm design, from the specialization called intelligence and data or data science, software engineering. And compu communication network. Computer systems, network. Networks. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and there's another perception that uh, we need only two years to complete our masters. It's not true when it comes here. We don't complete our masters in two years and do all the hassle and all that. I think it's more easier for us to uh, slowly distribute our subjects and projects and seminars in more than four semesters, like five or six or maybe seven. It's absolutely fine to do that. Let, but the focus and the sereneness of grasping the knowledge should be more focused rather than just the time zone and all that. So that matters as well. I, I think it's uh, the w the reason why it naturally goes beyond four semesters is that the course is theory focused. And from India, if you have a bachelor's in computer science slash IT, and then two years experience in let's say web development, and you come here, which is a profile common to a lot of the students who come here. So the thing is, and if you are taking similar subjects over here, then okay, you might complete in two, two and a half, three years. But if you are switching to the theory side, like mm. machine learning, quantum computing, so not only the subject, but you will have to prepare the background, background which starts yes. from your 10th, 11th, 12th mathematics, the calculus and all those things which yeah. you did. You build up your background again, only then you are able to tackle the course and go ahead. Mm -hmm. We so have that to go in that zone. You yeah? have to go in the zone. <laughs> zone. And of course, that takes time. time. So therefore, I would say around three years is a yes, three, three and a half is good. Amount, yeah. Right, right. I mean, just to clarify one thing, um, it has no impact when you go for a full-time job. No employer would say, yes. dude, why did you complete your studies in three years, four years, where it's supposed to be only for two years, right? Hmm. We uh, have students which have like six years and seven years doing their masters. In, in it's fact, no uh, Indian with. students tend to complete it earlier because of they have their visa and financial hmm. uh, strain. Uh, that's However, Germans thing. usually are much more relaxed and they... Uh, intentionally take more semesters uh, mm. seven eight and they are very cool about that because they are all about the interest and the passion and they don't have monetary concerns like we have mm. so they usually take more semesters and like you correctly said that in job market it does not have any impact it's more about the skills you gain after that time and on the other hand it is even advantageous spending a little more time at the university if you are looking not for the industry side but looking to go for the phd which is quite common in at paderborn yes i see as as a city paderborn what kind of part-time jobs can i get so that i could support myself so uh paderborn the advantage is that the city is not that expensive compared to the ones like stuttgart munich and so on and therefore uh, the monthly average expense any student would agree is around 500 euros yeah. and including the miscellaneous expenses and uh, 
so yeah and so we all managed within that more or less and as far as the job opportunities to cover that expense is concerned so that would be you have non technical jobs in uh, you can work in certain factories uh, or uh, kfc magdi etc and on the technical side you either have industry uh, working as a student uh, worker at the industry or as a student assistant in the university under yeah. some professor Yeah. Like a student assistant. Got it. Yeah. Um. So I'm working well, a mini job at KFC. So I'm mostly doing the packaging and all that. And uh, of course, due to Corona, all these things are little trickier because German language also contributes a lot. I mean, right now I'm working there and I'm still learning the language, so it gets a little tough sometimes if there is a lot of German all the time and all that. Mm. But sometimes you can you get used to that. It's what I people say to me. I'm still new at the job, and when it comes to technical, German language is not that issue there because everybody is very comfortable with English and everything. And right now with COVID. technically is a little bit easier than non technical jobs actually but uh, when you are actually in the company and you are doing your technical job german language is needed to communicate with colleagues that's the most important thing so yeah german language is always going to need and i think that is one of the most major impacts for jobs in germany yes. all over the world right over. that that i think that logic applies when it comes to part time job or mm. even a full time job what's what's your class strength There was around thirty-five uh, computer science students 35. in summer eighty. Yeah. I see. What about you? Twenty-five, thirty-ish Indians, and I have not been to my class class, so I don't know the computer science wala strength. But you know, Indians were like twenty, twenty-five-ish kind I of. I see. Yeah. I see. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, just to add one point before we go ahead regarding the German language. So first of all, there is also a condition like along with your masters, uh, you need to have A2 level before you can complete your masters and complete your thesis. And also, each German course at Paderborn University is divided into two parts. So A1 is not just A1; it is A1.1 and A1.2. Mm. So it will take more time, like six courses, to get to B1 if you calculate like that. So it's always advantages if you. Are able to at least do A1 in India and come here. Cool. What's your last message to students who are watching us right now? <laughs> I think it's uh, first of all, of course, I really want to emphasize. I can't emphasize this enough that don't choose masters just for the job and everything. Choose, learn something new, gain some knowledge because you really want to learn. So that's one of the important things, and mm. this is going to be a journey. It's. Going to be tough at some times, and it's going to be hard, but it will be fruitful okay. because you are going to learn so many things, and you are going to move out of your country and explore a new country on your own, handle lots of stuff, and it will be quite a journey. You'll meet new people. Some would be nice, some would won't won't be that nice, but it's nice. So just go with it. Don't give up. Keep doing it, and. Come live live like this. It's nice. <laughs> okay. And I would just say that as you rightly said, it's a journey. And the thing is that on this journey, people speak German. So definitely try <laughs> to have A1 uh, level uh, while coming. That would be really helpful in very small things like talking to the bus conductor. To small things <laughs> like that. I I I felt it personally because I did not do A1 before coming. But I can. That's what yeah. I can guide you from my experience. and also uh, like she like she again said that if you are coming with proper research and information that paderborn university is a research oriented university and you have already seen that in india and you have planned accordingly then you will uh, it would be the best case scenario plan from india i see so uh, that's all what we have from paderborn and uh, if you have any question related to uh, computer science please reach out to their administration offices directly write them an email i'm sure they're effective uh, to effectively get back to you uh, thank you so much <laughs> thank you so much and uh, if you enjoyed this video please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and we'll we'll see you guys next time peace out